one of my subscribers, one of my newest subscribers, I think he's actually my most recent subscriber as of making this video, but you know, I've been, I've given him some tips about the uh, T150 wheel here, as he has the same wheel as me, but he asked me to, to show him a drift tune, which, you know, I haven't, I mean, I, I've kind of tuned vehicles for drift before, but it's not something that I'm necessarily good at. I'm not really that good at drifting, period, let alone in BMG Drive. Nonetheless, I'm gonna I'm gonna still show uh, well anybody, but specifically him, I guess what I do specifically to cars when I'm trying to drift them. And for this, I think we're gonna have to go with one of my favorites, the Abishu Miramar. First things first, of course, you're gonna want a car that's rear wheel drive. So you know this one's rear wheel drive. We're going with this one, and you're gonna want to go with the most like tuned version of this that you can get right off the bat. So we're gonna go with the track tune just because it's going to be the closest thing to a drift mod, you know, just from stock. And this thing's not that good at drifting, so we're going to have to do a couple things to it. And one of the first things I'm going to do, which is really nice of this most recent update to have for us, it's the nitrous oxides. We're going to go to the engine here, because this, this is a naturally aspirated engine, and to be honest, uh, this car doesn't provide as much, uh, as much torque as I like, and we're just going to add a bit more so we're gonna go to the nitrous oxide injection here and of course only a 10 pound and 50 shots is too much so we're gonna go to the adjustable shot size we're not trying to add a whole bunch of NOS we're just gonna we're just gonna add 25 kilowatts enough to be able to get extra torque in the earlier revs of the lower gears so that we can spin out a little bit easier there so we're gonna apply that just right out of the gate and uh the car, the car should be able to handle this, or the engine should be able to handle this, I believe. It's, it's a naturally aspirated engine, there's no boost going into it, so it, it should be able to handle that tiny amount, hopefully. For this, it tends to help, if I understand correctly, to have the front track width wider than the rear track width, although we're still going to up this a little bit. Um, probably bring it to like about there. I don't know why, we're just going to do that. But that helps you, I guess that helps you like steer and whatnot when you're drifting, so we'll, we'll just, we'll just do that. I really, I really don't know like technically what it does, but a lot of drift cars seem to, seem to have that going on. And we're going to mess with the alignment here a little bit. So the front left camber, front right camber, we're just going to give those a few extra clicks down here. We're going to go from negative 14 to negative 20. We're going to go to negative 25 actually. I would never go more than like 10 or 15 clicks. I mean, 15 is usually too much, but sometimes it's not enough, depending on what it looks like. The reason why we're doing so much camber is when we're when we're drifting and we're full lock, we want this to be completely parallel to the ground. And you'll see, if I apply these changes here real quick, you'll see the car, the, <laughs> the wheels on the car, they, they definitely bow outward a little bit, you know, like this. So what this does is it allows it allows the tires to sit flush on the ground when the wheels are at full lock, and that's what we want for maximum grip. We're in the middle of a drift. And like I said, I don't know that much about drifting, but I know at least that much about it. And aside from that, I don't usually change too much except for the front and rear anti-roll stiffness. Although, this is a pretty old car, so we're probably just gonna freshen up the spring rate a little bit anyway. I always, I always do that with old cars, just because I assume they're not is like stiff in the suspension for some reason. It's all bullshit. Any, anything I tell anybody on this channel is always gonna be bullshit, but sometimes it works for me. And we're just gonna, we're gonna add a little bit of rear anti-roll stiffness and that's gonna make us oversteer a little bit more. Just cause it stiffens up the back end a little bit and that makes it kick out. The general, the general thing, or the general thing with the, the stiffness of the suspension is if it's stiffer in the front, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna understeer and if you're, if you're stiffer in the rear, you're going to oversteer, and oversteer is, of course, basically drifting, and that's that's pretty much it. So we made the made the rear a little bit stiffer. Um, we might loosen that up a little bit, just because, like, I mean, we did stiffen up the suspension too, so we're probably good on that. And we should be pretty much good to go here, except for where's the ah the final drive. So. We're going to make this a little bit higher, that makes it a little bit more, uh, it lowers the top speed and it gives us more acceleration basically, which means that we have more of a chance to spin the tires when we're in any given gear. And we can't really weld the diff on this, I don't think, so we're just going to, 
Um, what do we need? We're just going to do maximum locking, I think, is what we want on that. And uh, I don't even really know what that is, so we're just not going to mess with it. And uh, we might as well we might as well do it for reverse too. But I think I think that's locking the diff. I don't know 100%, but that should help us drift. And in terms of brake torque, we're gonna do a little bit more brake torque in the rear, just to initiate oversteer. And that should help us drift. And we'll see uh, we'll see if that that did anything. So after after 10 minutes of explaining my tuning, we'll see if I can drift this thing. We'll go to we'll go to the the JDM view here. And no, we're not we're not gonna drift up a hill. That's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Hold on. I wanna get again wanna get one more thing going on here. Um gonna go to the custom UI. And we don't we don't want this stuff to hide in the cockpit. Like I wanna I wanna see this stuff. I need it. Put that over here real quick. Boom boom boom. And we're just rolling down the hill here, so it's all good and fine. And we're good. And, oh, we need the nitrous. That's what we were missing. Here we go. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. All right, so, woo. So down here, we're going to try to initiate a drift here. Um, oh, and that's not, we could have done better. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna try that again. Like I said, I'm not I'm not that good at drift drifting in general. Wow, this thing I probably need to loosen up the rear. I think I think we went a little too stiff on that uh, rear sway bar. This thing just has absolutely no grip. It's fucking hilarious. Um, so this is awkward. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tune this here for a second. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start with uh, lowering the rear tire pressure here. We're gonna we're gonna lower it couple psi in the front we're gonna do like two psi down so a little bit of extra grip there and the anti-roll stiffness we're gonna roll that back a touch and we're gonna we're gonna put the front anti-roll back where it was um we probably should have fucked with that <laughs> um aside from that i think i think we're good i think we're good let's go actually i lied when in doubt add a little bit more camber because uh fuck it you can never really have too much camber so we're gonna go negative 30. All right, let's go. One other thing, you shouldn't you shouldn't always floor it when you're drifting. That's probably that's probably my problem. I'm always I'm always matting that shit, setting a bad example, and I still spin out. Um, most of the most of the drifting I tend to do is like not actual drifting. It's usually like you know drifting in gravel and like a like an all-wheel drive rally car like. I don't, I don't, I don't do the two-wheel drive, uh, rear, or the rear-wheel drive pavement, uh, drifting. I don't do it. I don't know if it's just me, but, like, when I, when I'm playing a set of Corsa and I'm driving, like, a BMW or something, like, I can drift that just fine, even if it's not even a drift build. Like, I could just take a normal BMW, whack out the camber a little bit, give it a, uh, give it a really short, uh, gear ratio, and then just call it good, and it'll pretty much drift fine. I don't know, I feel like the cars are a little bit more responsive to, uh, drifting type behaviors but in this game I don't know if it's something about like the amount of grip the cars have or what but it just doesn't like just doesn't act like I'm used to it driving so we're gonna see if we can drift around any of these any of these wow that is not what in the fuck where am I going I had no clue where I was taking this shit god this is pathetic I'm not I'm not getting any drifts in here We're gonna, we're gonna roll the camera back a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, what I said earlier, I don't even remember what I said earlier, but we're, we're gonna forget it because it wasn't true. Um, we're gonna, why are we doing this? We're gonna lower this ride height here a little bit just so that we're hella flush, yo. And that should, I should pretty much do it other than this. I'm gonna want a little bit more uh, of everything. Um, Sure. I don't know what that means. I really don't know what that means. We're gonna we're gonna dial that back a little bit. And what else was I? I was gonna turn something down. Oh, the stiffness, the stiffness. Yeah. No, we're good on that shit. We're gonna put that at like nine. No. Yeah, 18's fine. And 
Um, we're gonna stiffen up the front a little bit more, cause... Yeah. And that should be good. Alright. Here we go. Alright, here we go. It's a moment of truth. Oh, that was slightly better until I... I psyched myself out there. Fuck me. That was like almost a drift. God, this thing looks fucking ridiculous. The fucking tires are just bulging out of the fucking panels there. Well, I mean, weight reduction, you know? All right, so this this isn't working too well. So we're gonna take we're gonna take a car that's actually like meant to drift real quick. Um, and this is this is one I mentioned. Uh, this is one I mentioned in the comment, but uh, where why am I not seeing it right now? I'm blind. It's the first one there, the Abyssu 200BX. It's like that fucking Nissan 240SX fucking knockoff. That's not. I didn't want the stock version of that. God damn it. So like I said, if you if you look here, there's a, there is a drift version here, and I think the the Demon is probably also pretty good at drifting. But we're just gonna go with the drift tune, and it should be fine just as is. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely struggle to drift this thing. Usually, did it? That is a drift. No, that's not the drift. I swear to God, I clicked the wrong fucking one, didn't I? I'm not having a good day. Okay. All right, then. That's, that's interesting. That doesn't look like the drift one, but supposedly it's the drift one, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna see what happens here. Oh, this is one with a, with a bunch of backfire. There we go. So the more backfire you have, the better you're gonna be at drifting. So this should go this should go pretty well. Oh, this is like fucking that one movie, the fucking Fast and the and the Furious. Skirt. The skeet it. The skeet it. Is that what the kids are saying these days? Wow, this thing is difficult to control. Is my is something broken? Cause this thing does not wanna behave. Oh, that's that'll kill it right there. That's 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 Mount Kilimanjaro. So I, I find this thing has way too much uh, much oversteer. So what we're gonna do, and which is kind of what I was saying, is you just find one of the drift builds and like tweak it until it behaves the way you want it to. And I would just start with messing with the with the anti roll stiffness. Just uh, add a couple to the front, take a couple from the rear and uh see if that like helps anything and uh front damping and we're not gonna fuck with any of that that's a bad idea pretty much all of that is good um what else do we have where's is there a camber there is camber we're gonna fuck with the camber quite a bit here I have a feeling this is the track version, not the drift version, and there's something something's going on with my files here. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take some camber. We're gonna take the camber into the dark side there, about 25 clicks, and um, tire pressure in the rear. We're gonna drop that. I don't know why it's so high, but we want that traction, so we're gonna drop it like it's hot. And we're gonna add a little bit of track width to the front, actually, and that should be good. Let's see what happens. I can't tell if that feels better. I can't tell if I'm only sliding around because of the winter mod, or if it's like, or if I'm just terrible at drifting. Like, does this winter mod fuck with traction? I don't think it does. I don't think I noticed it before. Man, when I'm in second gear, it is really hard to use my e-brake without bumping myself out of gear. Um, this is almost a little bit easier to control. Like, if I, uh... If I used this car for long enough, I'm sure I could, uh, I'm sure I could get it down. 
Actually, let's see if we can, uh... Nope, that was a bad idea. That asshole on the freeway. Sorry! Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, god. Still in first gear. Gotta shift, dude. What is this? What in the fuck is this? Fuck! Man, this thing does not fuck around. It's a... It's a evil machine. And it's... It's gone. Ran it up a pole. Again. We'll get it. We'll get it. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh, 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 there's one. There's one. That was good. That wasn't that wasn't that bad. That was I think that was at least considered a drift. That might have been a power slide, but I think it was a drift. Oh no. God damn it. I'll go this way. See what's, see what's happening up here. See, I think, I think what my main problem is, is I decided to go to the fucking, the LA map, instead of an actual drift track, cause, you know, I'm a fucking moron, you know, why, where else the fuck would I go to drift, and you know, it's, it's too late, too late to change my mind now, we're like 23 minutes into the video, so like, this, this, this video would be like, a fucking, a documentary, by the time we were done with it, oh no! God, yeah, I don't know why I'm still trying. Look at my fucking car, dude. What, what are you doing? This is like, this has never been one of my favorite vehicles. Like, I always avoid this fucking car like the plague, because I just, I can't even drive it. I really can't. It just doesn't, it doesn't feel natural to me for some reason. See, I think, I think our first problem is we're trying to, we're trying to drift in third gear around this giant fucking turn here. And, and this is also what I was uh, what I was talking about. Uh, if you had a if you had 1080 degree if you had 1080 degree steering, it would it would take a lot longer. Like you would have to go a couple rotations in order to get to full lock. You know what I mean? And that's pretty difficult when you got to do that multiple times. So um, I set it around like 600. Sometimes I have it at like 666 because you know Lucifer. Um, just kidding, but. You know, and then other times I'll have it at like 900 if I'm just feeling like having it a little bit higher for some reason. Ooh, oh, and we we clipped the fucking we clipped the pole, and somebody lost their somebody lost their uh, Xfinity connection. They're gonna have to have the cable guy come in and fix that shit now. Sucks for them. Ain't my fault though. Should have put the pole there. That wasn't too bad. Book, book. Oh no. We're just gonna start from here, cause fuck it. Where is it? What the fuck? Is this like a prison or some shit? Where the fuck am I right now in this fucking fake universe? I can't, I can't tell if this is supposed to be LA or if it's supposed to be fucking San Francisco. It's like really fucking confusing me. Cause it looks like San Francisco and then there's this like LA river looking thing over here. Whoa! There's the curb. Oh man, there's another curb. You know, we just spawned on top of the curb. That was so cute. Oh no. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh no, oh no! No, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, that, that guy that ran away from that accident? Oh no, he went, he went that way. Oh, he was driving the same car as me. Oh no, no, I'm not that, that wasn't me. That, this, this happened this morning. This was, this was different. Ah, shit. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's gone on long enough, and, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not that good at drifting, so, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure it hasn't been that, that fun to watch me, uh, fail at drifting for, uh, 30 minutes. I mean, it probably wasn't 30 minutes, I mean, I'll probably cut it down a lot more than that, hopefully. But like I said, that's it for this video. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. As always, leave a comment as well, because, you know, I don't, I don't have that big of a following right now, so I'll pretty much always respond to your comments. I'll fucking take your suggestions, and I'll make the video or whatever. And, you know, th this is one of them. So, shout out to the, uh, I can't, can't remember his name right now, but, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see the comment. 
Shout out, shout out to this dude though for uh, the idea for the video. And make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more of this BeamNG content or any of my other content in the future. But for now, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some BeamNG Drive, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.